Welcome to Press Start TV. We're here with Jared, creative director of MechaZoo. Jared, tell us a little bit about your game. Well, MechaZoo is a 2D platformer in a 3D world. You unlock a bunch of different animals along the way, and uh, then you combine them together for uh, crazy platforming action. Well, so I got we got to play as the frog and the armadillo. What kind of other elements are coming into it? Well, you have a wallaby that's just basically a perpetually bouncing animal, never stops, bounces off the walls, the ceiling, everything. Uh, then we have a panda, that's our big heavy character that can climb walls, hang on the ceiling, butt stomp. Uh, and then we have a pelican that can fly around, do a corkscrew attack. Of course, awesome. every every combination of those offers totally different gameplay style. So are you going to be able to customize what you're switching between, or are you going to be able to switch between all of them at some point? So, um, so each level, each checkpoint gives you a different pair depending on the layout of the level. It's kind of optimized for that set of animals. Um, as you unlock more animals, you can go back to earlier levels, find like secret switchers that will let you play as a later animal in earlier levels. So adding like an extra layer of completion to go back, replayability right. for your yeah. game? And you collect medals, kind of like stars in Mario, uh, so you can go back and, and collect more medals to unlock more levels, so there's a lot of replay. So speaking of pairing, uh, the game has a really interesting co-op. Do you want to like explain that to everybody? Yeah, that was a lot was, of fun. It was very different. Yeah, uh, yeah so co-op pretty much just splits single player controls amongst two controllers. So one player just has the switch button, the other player just has action and movement. And so the player with the switch button can basically steal control at any time. Other player can steal it back at any time kind of got to get inside each other's minds and uh, it's fun. I really love co-ops that can either make or destroy a friendship in yeah. a single I, sitting. No, I just had this yeah. image in my head where a husband and wife go to marriage counseling yeah. and yeah. they put a kazoo up and they say, hey, listen, we wanted you to do this team building exercise. Yeah. That's exactly what we designed it for, yeah. for, for broken marriages. <laughs> So you have more applications for the game, that's good too. Will, do you have any questions? Yeah, I mean, you guys got to be close to launch because the game absolutely looks amazing. Absolutely, Very yeah. colorful. Um, you know, the best thing about a platformer for me is the environment because if you have a great environment, great atmosphere, it makes whatever you're doing that much more fun. You don't really focus on the background and the atmosphere because you're looking at exactly what you're doing next, right? But it just looks great. Thank you. And and your background looks great. Like if, if you actually do pay attention to the stuff going on, the ambiance, it's great. And also the music. I really like the soundtrack. It's almost like a Tell us a little bit about the music. Well, we have an in-house composer, uh, MJ Quigley, who's just incredible, just like crazy. <laughs> um, made a separate track for every single level. It's very eclectic, so uh, all the different levels have like different genres of music, different, like every world kind of has its own theme. Still separate tracks all around, and yeah, I mean, if you even listen to this uh, kind of uh, demo soundtrack, you hear a lot of the different sounds, so. Yeah. so are you cruising around listening to this kind of stuff in your car or whatever? <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, I do kind of, you know, alternate between Spotify and Makazoo soundtrack, and it, it blends in nice. So. so how far away are you guys from launching? We're looking at uh, late summer right now. Awesome. And what platforms are you developing for? PS4, Xbox One, uh, PC, Mac, Linux to start, and we want to get on Nintendo console shortly thereafter. So, so just everywhere, good. Everywhere, yeah. yeah. We want as many people to play Mac as you as possible. And just one final question, I mean, with the game, what was the overall inspiration for doing this time? Well, we kind of wanted to make, like, the best, most fun platformer of all time. <laughs> that that hard so back lofty right goal? Here. Yes, lofty goal. You shoot for the stars, and, you know, you land somewhere high so well with That's the right. different animals Love and everything it. you got going on you are able to incorporate so many different elements of platformers like the armadillo totally like sonic throwback there a little yeah. bit when you're going into it and then the frog i felt like the spider-man of the frog world yeah, there it was it was great yeah. yeah well that's all for more gaming news stay tuned to press star tv jared thank you yeah. thanks a lot man thanks a lot absolutely